Now, this storm may have been downgraded, but no one should let their guard down. It is still a monster. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Dean. New images from space show just how massive this storm is as it bears down on the Carolina coast. Courtney Zabowski is in Wilmington, North Carolina, where they're starting to feel the effects of Florence's fury. Bands of rain are whipping the Carolinas as Hurricane Florence approaches. Aside from the daredevils in the water, these coastal communities have cleared out. I heard it was going to be the storm of a lifetime. In North Carolina, Marcy Akers arrived at this inland shelter after hearing the warnings. The cops told me I needed to evacuate. What did they say? They said that it was going to be a bad storm for trailers. The winds have weakened, but forecasters are predicting storm surges up to 12 feet and days of drenching rain. We're still forecasting 20 to 30 inches, possibly 40 inches or more. We're in Wilmington, North Carolina. Less than a mile away, Wrightsville Beach is right in the bullseye. And even here, residents feel the danger. John Bruschetta says he's never seen waves breaking so close. You can see the spray even without uh, binoculars or anything. You can, the water's pretty high. What does that say to you? Um, not in not too much longer of a time, we're going to have uh, those waves will be breaking here. The view from space shows the massive storm hovering offshore. It's due to hit land early Friday and linger through Saturday. With just hours to go, evacuations are still underway. We are asking citizens to please heed a warning. Um, your time is running out. Emergency officials say floods are likely and power will go out for days, if not weeks. Courtney Zabowski, CBS News, Wilmington, North Carolina.